Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my updated skincare routine. So this is what I typically do during the winter time to combat hyperpigmentation and super dry skin. So first off, I'm starting with the Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm. I absolutely love this stuff. I believe some time ago there was a big hype around it. I decided to give it a try. It is amazing. I use this as the first step for my double cleanse. Next, I like to take some micellar water and just take off my eye makeup. I usually don't wear a whole lot of eye makeup other than mascara. Um, as you can see, I'm just holding the cotton pad to my eye um, and like gently moving it back and forth so that I don't tear out my eyelashes or irritate my under eyes. Next, I'm going to begin my second cleanse. I'm using the First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. Honestly, this cleanser is so great for sensitive skin or people who are very sensitive to like acne or things of that nature. This is literally the only facial cleanser that I can use. It's the only facial cleanser that will not break my skin out. I love it. All right, now that my face is cleansed, next we're about to get into the good stuff. I'm talking serums. So the first serum that I use is the Advanced Snail Mucin, I believe. I believe that um, the brand is Corsix, that's how it's pronounced. I'm using that. I put that on my face while it's my skin is a bit damp because this is a um, very hydrating serum, just to kind of lock in some of that moisture. I'm currently trying to get my skin accustomed to skin cycling. If you don't know what that is, that's basically um, where you'll exfoliate your skin uh, one day, the next day you'll use a retinoid, and then the, for the next two days, um, you're basically just nourishing your skin, if that makes sense. And then you repeat that cycle. So on this particular day, I was doing my retinol. So the day prior, I did I exfoliated my skin. On a typical day, I will use the Topicals um, Faded Serum just to combat my hyperpigmentation, just from like acne scars and things like that. Um, but because I'm using retinol, I can't use that on this particular day. But I'm showing it just so that you guys know that is something that I use in my skin cycle or in my skincare routine. Anywho, next I'm going to be using my different gel, or this is like a dappling gel. I use this to target like my acne, um, just like the areas where like I have pimples coming in, that sort of thing, uh, where I'm trying to get rid of pimples, that sort of thing. Um, so I put this on every night, just on the areas where I have like some blemishes. If you guys do want to see a dedicated video to how I skin cycle and like what products I use on which nights, um, leave a comment down below because I would love to make that for you and I kind of want to document it for myself just to see how much of a difference it makes with my skin, if that makes sense. I don't know, I feel like it would be a, a fun experiment. Next, I'm using the Hero Lightning Wand. So this is another um, product that targets like dark marks. I actually really like this. I recently started, I bought it a long time ago, used it, but like wasn't consistent. And I started using it again, maybe like a couple weeks ago. And I already like see a difference in my dark spots. Like they're getting significantly lighter and using this in combination with the faded serum oh chef's kiss it's so good so i definitely recommend this but yes i just put this in the areas where i have some dark spots um, dark marks acne scars that sort of thing i even put it on top of like current acne i don't know if i'm supposed to do that but i do it because i'm like i kind of just i don't i just i don't know i just don't want any marks on my face Alrighty, y'all, we're getting close to the end here. Next, I'm putting on my face moisturizer. This is the Ultra, no, this is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I love this stuff. Because it's the winter time, my skin gets very, very, very dry. But this stuff is thick enough to where it hydrates my skin, but it's still thin enough to where it's not greasy or oily or leaving like a weird cast. It's by far one of my favorite moisturizers. Finally, I believe in locking in all of that moisture by 
slugging. I don't know if we're still calling it slugging. That's essentially what I'm doing. I'm using the Bio Oil Dry Skin Gel to lock in everything that I just put on my face, kind of acting as a barrier so that when I'm going to sleep, it's not just completely rubbing off everything that I just put on. I really love this stuff. It kind of feels like Vaseline, but thinner in a way. I don't know how to quite explain it. Um, it feels so good on the skin. It just makes your skin look so dewy and just gorgeous. I love it. Alrighty, y'all, that is it from me. Make sure to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more from me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!